<coughs> uh, well, right, day four or five today on the CPC training. Today we did driver's hours. And Bob, who was with me for the third day running, which is lovely, he's a car, he's a super guy, uh, reckons it's the most important. And I wholeheartedly agree with him, it's by far the most important for me. Anyway, uh, we started with a quiz, and he asked a load of questions. And at the end of the quiz, I turned around to him and said, that's a rubbish quiz. There was nothing on 80s pop music. There was nothing on, uh, there was no on one out round, nothing on sport. Um, I, I, then I said to him, you might as well speak in Spanish. Questions he asked, I'm like, I haven't got, I don't even think I understand the question, let alone what your actual answer is. Um, just a couple of precursors to this. The CPC in Europe, by the way, is dearer and has exams. So we're kind of lucky with the CPC here. Also, the firm I'm going with at the moment, they're blinding firm. Um, they, 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 we pay £45 for this course, including the VAT. And of that, they actually they upload your hours. And at the end of the course, they also give you um, a digicard. So not other firms might put you through the CBC, but then you've got to apply, upload your hours and apply for the digicard. Apparently, it's about digicards, not a digicard, sorry, a CPC card. Um, yeah, that's wrong. Digicards you've got to apply for separately. Um, I've done a video on that, by the way. Uh, this is, it's about 45 quid. I think about 43 pounds something, but one pound 25 of every hour's worth of tuition goes towards his card. So that's brilliant. Um, and it also said another thing, it says don't do any more than the five courses within the five years. So for example, if I get my card on the 1st of July, and in that, the next five years I do the health and safety course three times, it only count once, just a waste of time, like, you know, you just, you just lose it. So right, today's course, driver's hours. Um, we started off talking, I'm just going to roughly run through what we ran through, about a lot. Uh, we were talking about driver's fatigue, um, and they talk about a DV, is it DVSA or DVLA? I'm still, yeah, DVSA it used to be VOSA. Uh, they talk about the traffic system that they operate on when they're going to pull you over and some, uh, they, a, a quarter point system. Apparently, if you're, if you've got like a red light in a point system and you go past like um, a traffic traffic officer, <laughs> the, the call sign that comes up is the Fred Flintstone thing. It comes over yabba dabba do. Go and get him. Oh, Jesus. So best to try and stay out of that one if we can, I think. Um, this is the first thing you want to pass. This is interesting. Sometimes you get the stories that you, he's heard from people there. The attitude test. Now, I always say, well, if you get pulled over, the first thing you do, you wind down the window and you say, what seems to be the problem, officer? Let them know they're an officer. Let them know you're in charge and let them know you haven't got an attitude. It's, what did you pull me over for? I don't know. You're, you're, it's going to be right. Let's go through, they're going to go through the old system with a the, the, the fine tooth comb. Respect and a bit of courtesy, and it goes a long way, I find. Um, uh, well, the drivers as we're concentrating on European rules, which apparently, even though we're leaving the EU, we're still on European rules because we're still got driving out of Europe, a lot of us. Uh, and then we went through taco symbols, uh, or fix work, it's involved. You know, like how many hours you can drive, you know, what is driving, what is classed as work, what is not classed as work, brakes, split brakes, brakes, how many hours you can work one week, in, how many hours you can work in a week, how many hours you can work in a fortnight if you carry out hours over. I mean, some of you guys doing this all the time go, <laughs> of course we all know that. I'm like, oh my God, I'm trying to take all this in, like weekly driving limits, weekly working limits, which is, you know, um, and how far you can extend them, but if you extend them, do you have to pay them back? And sometimes you have to pay them back, and sometimes you don't. But I say, there's no point in me telling you what it is, because I've just done seven hours of this. This would be the longest video I've ever done. I bore you senseless, you know, splitting daily rests. And then we went out there. And the also thing is, is like, so what you try and do when you're listening to it, and you think, well, okay, how does that apply to me? How's it going to be in my line of work? So I think, well, well, I'm going to be doing that many hours a day. So if I drive for a bit and take my break there, drive for a bit more, make sure I take my break there. Hammers, rest, availability. Yeah, that's lovely. He said, there's nothing of any use to you. Switch off. So then he went, European ferries. Bop. Switch straight off there. Um, yeah, we've done the weekly resting. Um, what if you, do, you know, easiest way to pay back five and a half days. Then he went on to multi-manning. Bop. Switch straight off for that one as well. Absolutely no interest to me whatsoever. I ain't going to have a geese in the truck with me driving. Well, not don't think so. Uh, then they went on unforeseen events. Just get yourself an A5 diary and a red pen. And if something goes wrong, print off the tachygraph, staple it to the page of the diary, write in the diary on that page, on that day, what happened and what went wrong. So, for example, you had 25 minutes to get to a parking space. You put in the services, no spaces. So you go to the next services, no spaces. Go to the next services. And as a result of which you run over your time. 
but it's just literally because you couldn't find anywhere to land. You know, so you put that in the diary, it's an infringement, but you cover yourself. Um, then I started talking about domestic hours, switched off. That's to do with buses. Yeah, don't, don't know anything about that one. Uh, the difference between work and duty. Um, <laughs> I made them laugh. I you know, the, 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 the thing about period of availability, which is like the box with a single line for it. I mean, you, I said, you mean waiting time? I was being genuine. I thought that's what you mean, waiting time. They all laughed. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, brain. But basically, just goes into. Oh, there's a thing that was interesting about the one minute rule, which is if you stick your truck somewhere and you go on break, and then someone goes, "Mate, you're in the way here," you can jump up and you've got a minute to move it out of the way before it takes it off break or something like that. Uh, working out what night shifts were, um, uh, you know, um, went through the fixed penalties. What they, you know, what what you like to do in Kerr and what you're going to like doing Kerr and four and how they're like sort of on a shift system and how they clock up. And finally, we went on the digital tachographs, different type of digital tachographs and how they work. But my God, it was intense. It was like, oh God, uh, we done the quiz. Uh, the first round of the quiz, I actually got zero out of ten. Bear in mind, it's a four multiple choice. I should have got a two or three out of ten. No, I got everything wrong. The second way round, I got six out of ten. Um. I think, in fairness, a couple of them, the world things about things, I just went, I'm not even listening to this, I don't want to know. But, yeah, I'm telling you, of, of the five courses that I have done, or four courses that I've done so far, driving hours is by far the most important. And coming at it as a, as a newbie, I haven't driven a truck in probably 10, 12 years. I, I needed this one. You know, they probably could have picked it up here and there, but if I'd have got a tug early on, and they'd have gone, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Oh, no, no. So, no, this has actually been an absolute right result. So, one more day to go tomorrow. Definitely broken the back of it now. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, but apparently it's kind of like Friday, so we get to bring in games. I'll get away with Mufti. Mufti, don't get to wear my own clothes. So, that's it. In the meantime, one more day of CPC. I'm gonna, I've am i got a few more to go up on how to get your operators, how to apply for your... Um, your, your driver's card, your digital taco card, which you need, even if you're only using old tacos, you still got to have a digital taco card. But hey, Whew. on we go, and then I can get out on Monday. I can take care, take money.